Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video here on Pastiche of Skin. We've been playing a little bit of the 2K bundle, humble bundle that's been available for the last 24 hours and will be available for the next two weeks. And um, I'm not massively impressed with the PS4 games that have been pushed on for it. So I've thrown on Evolve. I have never played this game properly before. I've watched other people playing it on PC and they've gotten into it. What the hell did I just do? Um, I haven't. I played through the tutorial in a previous video. Um, I wasn't massively impressed. So what I'm going to do now is give multiplayer a try. Ooh, the news feed is not available. Ooh, <laughs> sorry. I just realized that whenever I looked up there at that news feed not available, I'm going like, is the game already dead? So we're just going to jump into the multi. Oh god, we've actually got a whole intro for the multiplayer as well, which I suppose is essentially meant to be. Is the main campaign of Evolve. I don't know if they've actually kind of like expanded since, but this probably is just the. Basic intro, just showing the ship arriving down to earth, arriving down to the ground. I'm assuming you actually just pick your character as you arrive in, because I haven't done any loadout or character selection or anything. I haven't even done the tutorial for the um, hunters. I'm just gonna figure it out as I go along. I'm gonna have three or four set skills. I'm gonna have a role either support, trapper, medic, or assault. Most likely, what I'm gonna do is pick support because I don't I I don't trust myself to actually do well enough as a medic. I don't know the levels to be a trapper. I'm not going to survive long enough as an assault. And at least with the support, all I have to do is stand back and beam at the assault guy or beam at the healer whenever they are doing their jobs. My job is just to buff them up. Are you sure about this, Mark? These creatures overwhelmed colonial security forces in less than a week. Clearly we're dealing with something far beyond ordinary wildlife. Well, yes, of course. It is the genetically modified monstrosities that we play as. Take Either Squidman, okay. Batman, or Bullman. That's really what it ends up being. Like that's that, that that's what my understanding is. There's like what three main monsters and a whole bunch of hunters. Apparently, the things we were hired to kill. I just got off the line with Colony Command. Oh God. This is no longer. I did not expect a long um. Cinematic intro for whenever I was looking at the it's multiplayer. Scale evacuation. Gear up. We, we drop it five. Join the team. Save the galaxy. Mm. Failed to mention. Failed drop to mention. Into drop into the meat grinder, grinder in your seals pitch, five. boss man. There's a lot of people down there. Eh? Right. Um. Our help. I'm tempted to actually just. Fuck it. Turn this down and actually just talk over the top of it. So yeah, Evolve as it went from the full uh, paid experience to the um, free-to-play experience that it actually is now on PC, and it's still a pay-to-play game on PS4, even though it is down to like three ninety-nine for the actual base game, but yet still asking for like twenty-five, twenty-six DLC components for other card playable characters you can do in it. Now, I don't even think they actually do like a deluxe edition that has it all as a pack anymore, but it, Evolve was one of those games that was really, really heavily um, attacked for its the push for DLC content before the game had actually, ever actually been released, where you could actually buy or prepare for pre-order DLC that could very easily be prepared and put into the game itself, and actually was in the game, and you're literally just unlocking it. A lot of people lost their shit about Evolve at the time uh, just for the anger at it, but then other people were really like, alright, uh, I, I want to give this a try, I want to give it the best chance possible, and then proceeded to continue on with its um, persistence on buy more stuff, buy more stuff, buy more stuff, and the player base did drop quite dr dramatically. Um, I've said before, it actually went free to play on PC, and there was a massive, there was a, there was an uptick in player base, and that was whenever a lot of friends of mine actually started playing Evolve to give it a try, just to see what the experience was like, and got quite into the gameplay. But I have not got that feeling at all from the tutorial bit, playing as a monster. I'm hoping maybe there might be a little bit more dread and interest in the tracking. A lot of the time, people told me it was just, a, it was just a, you spent a lot of the game running to place A. See if creature was there, no, place B, place C, and then tra like the tracker was doing more of the work and everybody else was just running back and forth and back and forth. Um, I think Angry Joe pointed out himself, he specifically did a parody joke where he had um, Joe running back and forth between the, uh, the green screen and other Joe just kind of like getting more exhausted. Uh, enabling multiplayer parties? It would be nice if you would <laughs> uh, enable multiplayer parties. Mm -hmm. So uh, just hit quick play, see what we got. Make sure you usually get to play your full right. Choose your preferred role. We'll always try to match you to a group where their role is available. All right. Well, support. That's what I want. All right. Support. Monster. Medic. Assault. Trapper. 
because I'm not going to know the level at all. So, oh shit, I probably skipped over something that probably was important, but um, I just put that as my set order. So, support, yeah, support, monster, medic, assault, trapper. That's my five in order because, oh, well, not that long to actually wait until I got into a game. The Battle to the Death in the best of series of mobile arenas. So, um, this must be, is this one of the newer ones? Because I thought it was always like a track and trace, kind of like hunt your opponent down thing, rather than actually being a, um, you know, a arena based kind of combat thing. We're about to find out what it is. As soon as it loads, the other half of that bar. Get a bar up there. Go on. Uh, come on, you son of a bitch! Make it to the other side of the wall. Loading, loading, loading. This game keeps on loading. It doesn't hide its loading at all. Oh, 20 seconds before the game could be left. Well, we're going to be seeing... I'm, the, the, I'm yawning because this is actually... It is feeling dull. Um, I mean, it's a lobby. What do you expect from a lobby? A lobby of a game is going to always be quiet and boring unless I'm talking on it. So, this is what we got to wait for. A, a fairly long load time. Rogue reference, there you go. Accept. Um, so, we just going to start into one. Uh, they're voting to skip or something. So, we got a level 2, level 2, level 1, and a level 40. Level 40, dude, is gonna be pissed at us. Although, admittedly, I imagine this is because so many people are picking up the game because of the 2K bundle. So, maybe this is actually gonna be... This would be the best... This is probably the best time to actually be the worst player in the world and just let other people kind of, like, not carry you, but let you figure it out. <laughs> right, so everybody else has got their um, logos designed already. I maybe need to unlock a little bit before I can actually jump into combat. No, I'm just going to, I can't do anything to change this, but they've obviously got pretty nice uh, emblems. Me and the R2 dudes have got nothing. Here's a level, the fact the level 2 guy already has a emblem, I'm assuming there's actually, that's a good news. It means there's some form of unlockables just for beating like the first level or two. Defend, defend, defend the fuck out of this. Oh, do you know what it is? He probably played the tutorial and got the best time on the tutorial, which was enough to level you up your first level. That's what I think it might be. All right, let's see what we got. Bring it on, monster. I ain't giving you no 350. God damn, you like my snonser. Right. It's a lot of waiting. There we go. Loading. Are we in? Are we ready to rock and roll? Hank. Sorry, Hank? Tech Sergeant Hank? Alright, so... Sonny, Kala... So there's two characters I don't have. Uh, I'm gonna go with Tech Sergeant Hank, because... Yeah. Go with Tech Sergeant Hank, because it says it is easy. <laughs> He's jump height by 300? Yeah, why not? Hey, I'm Hank. Uh, Lazarus, I'm assuming he will never, ever, ever die. Um, middle dude is the monster, Trapper is that dude over there, and Assault is Kamiar. Right, let's go. Let's rock and roll! I'm still waiting for the other three to pick out their things, but um, if they if they load out their choices reasonably soon, this is not going to take too long. Hey! So our Trapper is El Mustachio. Sir, I must toss you a question. Sorry. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was a dangling joke right there in front of me, and I had to take it. I had to take it. It was too easy. Uh, look at my shoes. Because <laughs> I've got nothing else to do. Right. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. He's actually a big dude. <laughs> So Markov, Blitz Markov, so there's actually like variants of the main guys and then everybody else is like uh, new characters I imagine. Or there's probably variants of each of those characters as well. Because in this particular case I got Tech Sergeant Hank and Blitz Markov on my team. Um, 
That's the thing. I'm looking at this. I'm all the characters that are here are ones that were represented by the uh, intro. So actually, in that in that CGI intro, it had everybody that's here. I'm trying to figure out when the original game. Ooh, damn, Meteor Goliath. So um, I'm assuming he's actually been infected in some way, shape, or form. Kala has joined the crew. Oh, she like half monster, half. Oh, damn. Yeah, she looks. She's half monster, half human. That's creepy, but pretty badass. Right, come on, Kala. Well, no, there's no Kala on our team. Other thing, I'm assuming with anybody who's going to be the lower levels, uh, same as me, uh, probably will not have bought the extended uh, version of the game and all the extra characters. And um, if I'm trying to think, probably that's why. They're all the baseline ones, or the, the Blitz Techie one, because I'm assuming they were actually on locks really early in the day. I literally know nothing about this game. So if you can actually give me some pointers and tips in the comments underneath the video, it'd be extremely appreciated. Um, I might, like, I mean, if the, if, the, if the whim takes me, I don't even know yet because it's taking so long to actually load in. I mean, what, 11 minutes before any gameplay? This is... I've spent 10 minutes trying to get into a game. Right, let's see. So, 10 minutes before gameplay. 10 minutes before you're actually playing the bit of fun that you wanted to play. I mean, I can understand. Um, it's probably because of being a um, not that popular game. We're defending. They're going to be attacking. I need to be around you, dude. Um, I have no idea where he is. Okay. Switching to the track and dart. Oh shit. Did not know that's what it was. How do I help? 
How do I help? There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Got it. Yeah, um, not really getting this, but um, we managed to get it down to like the last half of its health bar. But there's too many of us down now to survive, so, huh, it ain't gonna go well. What? That's a bot? That's a bot? Okay. Ah, oh, come on. Um. I have no idea what I'm doing with this character. Oh, no, none of us are going to make it to that. Like, that ain't happening. Where is... Alright, they're over that way. Okay. I'm just wondering where the fuck I was meant to be going there. Okay. Right, that was interesting. Yeah, you bringing me back? Good. Right, <laughs> I am making no sense out of this at all. So yeah, um, somebody else is dead. Uh, I'm probably going to be dead fairly soon. And all of us are dead. <laughs> so is that it all over? So, I took over a bot with the last one, but that's it all over now. Is, is it? Is that everybody dead? Oh, it's so long before we can actually spawn back in again. So, 20 seconds. Right, so there's too many of us all went down at the same time. Interesting. So, literally, they're going to have minions and stuff. So, we, if, that die, if this power source dies within... The time limit that we have left, so seven seconds before we can jump in, but then another minion's gonna come in in like two seconds to like speed up their death. Right. Okay. So. 
the power source is going to be destroyed by the time we land. I don't want to be playing as the... Oh, I really wanted to go back to being the support guy again. Seriously, can, can we go? Come on. Wow, this is such a long drop time. What the fuck? That's, there was there no way that we were going to make it back in time at that point. So literally the monster already knew it had won. <sighs> yeah. And I, I'm thinking like how many, like that, I took over control of a bot. So how many of the players actually stuck around to the end of the match? So many things to unlock as well. Right, thanks very much. <laughs> Great, that was a uh, continue. Uh, you gotta leave game. Yeah, like, seriously? Nah. Whenever I spend 10 minutes of wait time before getting into a game, that, that was not a. This is really unappealing, right? I mean, I'm not, I'm not crazy for thinking this. Like, that. I imagine, like, probably was faster whenever there's more servers and more people playing, but. That felt... The controls felt stiff. The combat felt unappealing. There was... Uh, literally, the monster does... All it needs is like two, three good hits on you and you're dead, especially if it's someone who knows what they're doing and it's well buffed. Um, unless you... I mean, this is, again, designed for three or four friends to play together because I could not see how this is really fun in any way, shape, or form for a pickup group like you wouldn't this doesn't seem like the kind of thing you could pug because you kind of need to actually have yourselves coordinated to set up traps and all that kind of thing the fact that you all are forced into playing a particular role i mean i can imagine maybe like weird kind of like plays where you actually have four assaults and they essentially like all they can do is just hammer on them and hammer on them and hammer on them but they can't heal themselves that'd be a weird way to play it that's why they kind of make everybody play a role but that's that wasn't fun that wasn't enjoyable well, guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been the multiplayer uh, look at uh, Evolve. I played the tutorial in the previous video. I played this in the second video. And 10 minutes. 10 minutes before you saw me play in the game. And then approximately the same amount of gameplay. And that was that was boring. That was really, really unenjoyable. So, not exactly a good review. Um, tell me if I'm making mistakes. Tell me if I'm boring you to tears with my complaints. But... Say it in the comments. Tell me what you think. Um, if you enjoyed watching me play this and just be bored to tears and want to see more of the 2K Humble Bundle and see what the, if, the, if the games are worth the play or worth the pay for the play, then make sure to hit the subscribe button up in the corner. And I can understand. Not everybody's a subscriber. Not pe people. There's people who just don't like to subscribe. I completely understand that. What I would like you to do, though, is memorize pastiche of skin. All you have to do is search for me on Google. It's easy to find me. I wouldn't be too far away. You will find me on some one of the sources. I'm not exactly... I'm not ubiquitous yet, but we'll try our best to get there. But you won't be able to lose me if you remember the name. That's the important thing. And, of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, boom, there's a subscribe button up here. There is a playlist up here. There is the most recent video up here. And right here is a video for you based on the user statistics of YouTube and your analog analytics and cookies and all those kind of things, this is the video that it recommends for you to see next. So I highly recommend you watch that video. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.